Welcome to the Yellow River claim in Arizona. Let me just first say, uh, disclaimer, this video is not meant to entertain. It's going to be rough, um, but it's going to be uncut because it's intended to document our collection and security procedures for our Try Before You Buy program. It's a little windy today, I'm trying to keep the mic out of the wind, um, but basically you, you have the opportunity to pick up around 90 pounds worth of material from the claim. We're gonna document where we pulled it from, show you our collection procedure, uh, show you our testing procedure with an XRF gun, uh, and then you work the material at home, make a decision whether you wanna purchase the mine or not after you've worked the material. You get an option to purchase, um, and it's yours until you, your option expires. So I'm not gonna give the exact location. I'll give you a GPS shot. Um, once we're, we're going to actually pull material, but I'll probably black that out in the video just because that'll be for the owner uh, of the claim should they exercise the option. I don't want everybody to know about this location. We're, we're kind of tucked in a, a little hidden valley. Uh, all these hills, all these mountains around us uh, are all claimed up. There's, probably can't see it on the video, but there's numerous mines. Let's see if I can show you one in the hills. Just everywhere. Of course, zoomed in, I can't find it. But maybe you can see um, this. Basically, this entire range is claimed up with load claims, and normally we focus on load claims as well, just because you're getting the gold at the source of the claim. Uh, however, when you find something like this, uh, basically a valley in between all of these claims where all the gold wash out from the source, uh, from the load. Uh, granite actually decomposes, rock decomposes, believe it or not. And that'll wash down every time there's a rain and it'll follow the path of least resistance. Uh, and because gold is heavier than natural material like rock, gravel, dirt, it'll actually settle to the bottom as long as there's an obstruction. What we found is a couple of really nice areas, some plunge pools, some benches and ledges where you're going to pull material from. First, let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to load this uh, in a six gallon bucket. Uh, it's very similar to a five gallon bucket you would get at a big box uh, home improvement store, Home Depot, Lowe's, etc. Except obviously it's six gallons. Uh, it's a little bit bigger um, than five gallons. Hold about 80 to 90 pounds worth of material. We're using uh, brand new clean buckets. Um, and we're going to seal them for you. We're going to collect the material on tape and we're going to seal them two ways. First with the actual cover. Uh, these are tamper proof with a peel tab. Once we hammer this down it's almost impossible to open without tearing this tab, peeling the strip and then using a bucket or a lid opener to open this bucket. It is possible with a screwdriver uh, and a pair of pliers that you could probably pry this lid off. Uh, but you wouldn't be able to do it without uh, seeing evidence or marks of it just, just because of the way the lids are made. However, second level of security, once we hammer this down, we're going to cover two sides of it with a security tape. If you want to look these up online, uline.com, part number S7590. It's basically a nine inch strip of tape that uh, is individually serialized. Each tape has its own serial number. Uh, and when you peel it, it'll say open. You, you, you can't peel it without leaving some of the residue behind. And for purposes of this test, we're going to use two serial numbers on this bucket. These are the actual strips. Numbers, I don't know if you can see that. Na Nancy Mary 9803438 and Nancy Mary 9803439. So let's take a walk down to the claim. Take these strips with me. <clears throat> the road um, is old and uh, rough in a few spots, but you you actually can get in here with two-wheel drive. Uh, it's a uh, you'll want a little bit of clearance, uh, but it's actually an old um, power line road from uh, probably 50 to 70 years ago. Uh, very little evidence of recent traffic. I'd, I'd say almost nobody gets in here, and the beauty is. Uh, you won't see this dry stream bed unless you actually get up on it. Uh, it's definitely tucked uh, away from view. You almost have to know that it's here. Probably about 
40 to 50 feet from the road. Some places it's as close as 10 or 12 feet. Uh, so a short little hike, but well worth it. Bring your hand tools in, pull some material out, search in your most likely places. You don't want to obviously excavate the entire stream bed. Um, but gold will, I'll show you, gold will follow uh, the path of the water and sort of nature's riffles or, or areas, uh, cracks in the granite, bends, shelves, ledges will trap the gold and because it's heavier it'll sink to the bottom and stay there. Sand will pass over the top. I don't know if you can see this but this is a pretty good sized gorge uh, and literally every 20 or 30 feet you've got areas that will trap gold, all your bends. Let's see if I can get you closer without killing myself. Here's a perfect example of a really nice plunge pool. You're going to have a waterfall on a rain, rainy day runoff. It's going to move all that material out of all these hills right down to where you're going to be digging it out. And today, let's see if I can find my bucket. We're going to work a little bit further upstream. I don't know if you can see just some of the color in the ground, just probably not on video. I've got a, a tripod set up. I'm going to do a test first. This is the plunge pool where we're going to pull from. Again, water is going to take that natural course through the gorge. It's going to get hung up in a couple of spots. It's going to flow over the rocks. And whenever you have a spot where the elevation is lower, uh, only the water will flow over the top and any loose sediment like mud. But your heavier materials, gold, gravel, will naturally flow to the bottom. Here's the bucket we're going to use. It's uh, brand new uh, and it's been labeled with the claim name, state, and today's date, the 28th, February 28th, 2014. I'm using nothing more than a shovel, maybe a hand trowel. Um, going to show, again, the claim owner where exactly we are. I'll probably block this out. But just so you can see the actual lat and long, there's the GPS coordinates of where we are right now. I'm going to actually save that. First thing I'm going to do, uh, we're using an Olympus Delta Premium XRF scanner. Uh, this has got a mining package, a geochemistry package that will actually scan down to the elemental level uh, for any base metals, base materials. Uh, it is pretty simple but pretty expensive, um, about a $35,000 piece of equipment, uh, but for serious mining it's, it's a must have. First thing I'm going to do, I don't know how you can see the screen, I ran a calibration after I just took a few shots down here, I'm going to run that again just so you can see the process. It's actually testing right now. It's using an, uh, an x-ray beam to uh, penetrate the earth. You're going to get a surface reading, but you're going to get in a few mils, um, so you're going to get anything under the surface. Perfect for sand um, because it's a loose coarse material. It'll actually, um, it'll actually read down to a little bit of a depth, more so than if it were just straight rock. Still running this calibration. <clears throat> there's a test ingot in the base stand uh, and the machine knows what it uh, what it consists of so it know okay and we've got a ready we've got test calibration good there's your test ingot which is coming off the the beam on the reader I don't know if you can see that but that's what's gonna 
make sure that the machine is in calibration that's overkill because I already did it um, looking at this this area geez I, I don't know if you can see some of the color in the rock here probably not but there is yellow and silver all over the place I'm thinking this is where gold is going to get trapped right down here in the bottom so this is some of the material we're going to use I'm going to clear just a little two inch depression uh, let's take a reading we'll be able to see exactly what's in the ground okay the machine's working this will take about 20 seconds again it's projecting a beam an x-ray beam two different uh, beams on this device um, that's where we get the, the sensitivity down to about about 10 to 15 parts per million gold uh, and about 30 35 parts per million on silver but you'll see everything from aluminum calcium zinc magnesium to uh, titanium platinum uh, all your rare earth metals and of course your base alkalines machine's done Let's see if I can decipher for you we do have zinc iron of course uh, titanium magnesium calcium silicon vandium okay here's what we want AG that's surprising um, of silver wasn't expecting that uh, I saw some silver in my last test I was looking more for gold now gold uh, AU again I don't know if you can read that that's a uh, parts per million um, that's pretty good concentration considering we're about two inches in the ground here um, what will happen with these pools uh, gravity will take take its course the, the heavier pieces will sink to the bottom the agitation of the water acts like a sort of a natural riffle sort of your own natural sluice box if you will uh, and you literally will have uh, your bigger your chunkier gold at the bottom we're right on bedrock here probably about a foot and a half two feet of material so any little cracks will trap material and then on the surface what we're seeing especially with that gun and what I'm seeing in the reflection from the light bear with me while I set this up on a tripod is you're seeing the actual uh, finer flake gold or free milling gold as it's often called that's what's washing down uh, and it's not heavy enough to sink all the way to the bottom get this tripod set up for us I think you've got a pretty good view of what we're going to be working so not going to classify any of this material not going to uh, sift it for you um, not going to play any games salt it uh, I'm literally just pulling gravel out of the ground I'm going to seal this bucket and I'm going to send it to you with UPS with the seals intact so you open it you work the material you make your own evaluation whether you think this is a claim worth owning and working just get to do it from the luxury of your your backyard not in the middle of the desert but there's definitely color in here is pretty easy to work with every time it rains it's going to get agitated for you which further forces the gold to the bottom now that doesn't happen often gold huh. 
that's going in your bucket and you won't be able to see that but in case you can that's gold that's in there at least that's the biggest piece we've found try to save you the sticks but you're getting this raw gravel and all just the way you'd see it if you came out here with your own shovel and pick and work, work the area. Definitely some more color in that, but I lost it. Just don't want to give you this big rock. Because I like these little nooks and crannies, I'm going to get a little material on my hands and knees. That's where your bigger gold is going to be. bedrock here. It's going to get trapped. little color in this you almost have to see it in the sun I don't even know if I'm getting that on camera um, you'll need to of course uh, pan this out use a spiral pan or do it by hand even dry wash it I'd say that's full let me uh, wipe the lid down so we get a good seal Individual serial number tags.
plus I put it right by the handle. Not a smart move, but. Those are impossible to uh, take off without tearing them. I'll just show you the finished bucket. Of course, now I have to haul this all the way out. Uh, there's your six gallons of uh, material pulled right from the claim, the Yellow River claim in Arizona on the 28th. And that's probably easily 90 pounds, but you've got both your serial numbers on here You'll see this uh, in the exact same form when UPS delivers it inside of a box to your house uh, So work the material at your leisure Do it for recreation um, But you do have an option on the mine uh, So give it a try before you buy If you don't want the claim, you're not obligated uh, If you do want it, you know where to come look for more Thanks for watching